So it's day two! Yeah! Whoa. Come on, team cheer! Yeah. The goal for today, um, we are narrowing the scope of the project a little bit again, mm -hmm. because clearly otherwise we were not going to get done. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna try to reconcile all the inventory as we move it. We're just gonna get everything moved and organized so that Tyler can reconcile it after the fact. Oh, okay. um, So that's, that's the new plan there. But the plan is still to wipe down every single box. Yes. So. Which takes time. Yeah. Clean everything, so clean all the things. Basically, everyone's gonna get a reg today wipe everything down and put them in their correct categories. Um, at some point, probably in the latter half of the day, we need to start tackling 101. Brandon, make weapon review. Thanks what, everyone. Let's or? go. I'm Frank. Yeah. Tunnel Bear for Teams makes it easy to secure your Wi-Fi on any network and comes with priority support and easy team management. Try it for free at the link below. Everyone's doing their parts. We have a whole pack of doorstops and I can't find a single one. I don't know, like... I found a doorstop. It's not even funny. <laughs> I'm Terry and this is my Lego Mindstorm thing that I've been interested in forever. Oh... Oh, that did yeah, not just happen. That did not just happen. <laughs> what was that? A 1070? Might have been a 1070. Oh, look, it's someone's coffee. Yeah, look at this. Hashtag ballin'. What? <laughs> look over there. I think Ivan's about to use a paint sprayer. All right. Hide your kids. Hide, hide your wife. Because they're spraying everybody out here. All right, all right. Okay, for now, we need to empty it and put, and dry it out and put paint inside. What are you doing on inventory and organization day two? Making bubble waffle for everyone. Uh, okay. Awesome. Okay. Beat me like a baby bird. You guys wanna see the stupidest thing ever? Check this out. <laughs> what does feed okay mean? You gotta uh -huh. confirm that it fed okay. Yeah, you have to do it every time. If you turn it off now, it cuts off the print. So you gotta press okay again, it prints out the rest of it. And here's another stroke of mother genius. Instead of making the warning track that you're almost out of tape readable, <laughs> they cover the whole damn thing. Oh gee, thank you. I guess I'm almost out of tape, but I would have had enough for this label if you holes hadn't covered it in black stripes. Well, you know what? I'm sticking it to the man. You can't make me buy a new label. You're just sticking it to your employees by making us read that. I've seen one of those before. Was See? that you? That's right. What are you doing today, John? This area here, I am helping Jay get this sorted. If you have so many bins, one can say that we are bin laden. Hey! Oh! Don't put that on the video. It's definitely going in. <laughs> I was putting things in the wrong spot. But somebody told me to put them there, so as long as Linus doesn't find out, everything will be okay. <laughs> How can you have too many SATA cables? I'd like to know that myself. You don't think this is too many? No, it's not. You don't think this is too many? No, I don't. It's because you're a hoarder. We should do them by color and then by connector direction. Like, who is who's using the camera and not the Rift? <clears throat> Looking for the... Oculus camera. What the f What? <laughs> what? That's... <laughs> Why? People get this perception that I'm like some kind of like Nazi mean boss, but like this is what I'm dealing That's with. That's so gross. You, that's probably Terrence. He never wears his shoes. I don't think right? it's Terrence, they're small. Alex, are these your socks? No. James, are these your socks? Colton, socks, Ed, socks. No, oh, oh, no, not me, not me. Okay, then I'm gonna take this bin, I'm gonna make it the lost and found. We need your investigation. <clears throat> I know it's you, just like the cutlery, it's you as well. Ah! So shelf 10 goes to shelf 10. No, this is shelf seven, this look. shelf 10. Okay, this shelf is labeled shelf 10 and shelf seven. What the? Ouch, sorry. <laughs> I'm just here for the view. And then you want a more interesting Terran? Okay, ready, James? No, Woo! not ready. Yeah! yeah nice. Yes! Go this way. Oh, 
Okay. Because then maybe we can put more on. We put the more on in putting more on. I need a place to park my bike now that, you know. What the hell kind of doorstop is this? I don't see any way that this could go wrong. Still holding! Uh, no! Uh, <laughs> yes! Don't put a dick on my desk. That's hilarious. When I was sick at home. Where is it? I still blowable. Oh, that. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna go try and tackle uh, and try and make sense of 101. That corner is gonna be a workshop. Like a oh. new, better workshop with like real tools and stuff. Okay. Um, up there is gonna be long-term storage, especially of big items. Uh, and then the rest of down here needs to be free of garbage. Completely free of garbage. Uh, what do you want to do with these beanbag chairs? Yeah, we'll beanbag chairs. Move beanbag chairs to the upstairs new office area where they're supposed to go. I think we need about 15 of them there. 15? Yep. Wow. Oh God. Oh God. Whoa! God. There goes the beanbag guy. One down, 15 to go. Yeah. And there's Nicholas Van Leidekus. Oh, this what? is your whole new office? This is my office. It's what do you need office. so much space for? What do you need so much space for? I don't have that much space. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't need it. <laughs> oh, threw it on the ground. So, fun fact for you guys, Linus has banned the using of these things on company property, on company time. Because somebody just... found it's a safety hazard. <laughs> it's funny because they look so heavy. Yeah, two little handles. You just grab onto them. What a handle? I'm starting to wonder if this was actually a good idea. Well, this is where we're supposed to hold all hands on deck meetings. Okay, A-Prime, jump into the pile. No, no, I did. Wow. That was the most pathetic. That yeah, good. that's what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, eight more to go. What? I got you, Dennis. No man left behind. I'm not actually taking any of the weight. <laughs> I don't see any problems with this reeling at all. There's a lot of work left to do in here. This guy's working real hard. Are you bringing everything from here? All of it. Anything that we're keeping, yes. Anything that we're junking, no. Dennis, you're not shirtless, and Ivan is. Oh. <laughs> ah! What'd you do? Just broke the penis. <laughs> Fun fact, I thought that was plastic. Yeah. Guys, I can't believe I broke a dick. I broke a dick. This pile behind me is what I want to call the uh, Nikki V graveyard. So these are all of the RC products that Nikki V has used and or destroyed. So oh I got to go through it and see what works and what doesn't work and then uh, go from there. So everything in here, they're coming in just spraying the walls with acoustic dampening so that I won't sound so bad in here anymore. So we have to move everything 10 feet away from the walls, which is like... It looks like... J James, what are you doing? I'm throwing something! Brandon, what's it been like trying to film a video and move all this stuff and prepare for Scrapyard Wars and get the A-Roll set demoed? How's it going? It's fun. Wow. I'm good. Typical Brandon. Typical, everything's great, you know? If you guys are wondering, the top-notch quality content that Taryn consumes here. He's watching Exoplanet Habitability <laughs> around Orange Dwarf Stars. It's so funny being a camera person, it's like, I should be helping. But I can't help because I'm capturing footage. Yeah. Very valuable what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I know. So we found there's a desk in unit 101. Okay, step down. Good old up desk. Let's figure this out. And we're giving it to John. Let's do a tour of John's current office. Have you been working off the floor? Yeah, I had to a little bit this morning. <laughs> I got started downstairs. Oh man. So I've just been working on the floor. You know what? We yeah. don't need desks. 
ate my mucho burrito on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very, it's very liberating, you know? Uh, this reminds me of, remember this uh, South Park episode? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Dennis, why are you not wearing a shirt? And why are, what are you doing? Shower show. Shower show? We can't show this on Twitch TV anymore because of Dennis's nipples. Yeah, actually, that's true. Yeah. Sorry, Twitch viewers. We don't have nipples. Did you know that people are taking Maxine's photos for bots on Tinder? What? Except Alex actually said that he saw, um, he thought it was a bot and they used my name, but it's actually me because I was looking for Taryn on Tinder. <laughs> I found him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he unmatched me. Does that mean there's bots of me on Tinder? No, you're not attractive. What? Come on. <laughs> Then why'd my wife marry me? Bad decision. What? Lies, what's going on? Basically, we're already discovering that like, the area that we set aside for camera stuff storage, which is basically within this blue box here against this wall, it's like not even close. What you guys doing? Building this. I hate this so much, since two years ago. Watch the last video, and you will see. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I can picture it now. But Jake, you should use that it on yourself here. and see if it works. Is this a tool finder? Because, uh, you know, it, it might start beeping here. Oh, look, it's beeping. It must be. I'm a stud. Actually, it's an edge finder. I'm are, you, are you an edgy meme I'm lord? very edgy. Okay, so unit 101, uh, looking not bad. We've still got some stuff to move to get our 10 feet away from the wall for the spray. Um, up top, everything has moved away from the walls already. This car is coming out tomorrow, and we've cleared a uh, runway. A building for it. Um, so basically, all this stuff is just going to come over here, and they're going to be ready to rock. They're going to spray on Monday. Ting is the mobile carrier that's focused on saving you money without compromising on customer satisfaction. You only pay for what you use, with the average Ting bill being only about 23 bucks a month per device. And if you have to call Ting for whatever reason, you will not speak to a robot. You get put through directly to an actual person. Imagine that, a phone company that understands how phones are supposed to work. If you're stuck in a contract and switch to Ting, they'll cover 25% of your cancellation fee up to 75 bucks, and they've got new lowered mobile data rates. Data's now just $10 a gig beyond the first gig. So head over to linus.ting.com, we've got that linked below, to try out their savings calculator and see if you would save money on Ting. Then, when you sign up at our link, you'll get 25 bucks in service credit or towards a new device. So that's it for day two of Organization Blog! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Thanks, Colton. Yeah! Hit the like button if you liked the video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Uh, get subscribed so you don't miss any of our videos. And, um, merch store. And, um, join our community forum. <laughs>